Hi class, this is your instructor Megan and in this video I just want to go over some tips for how to create a site structure diagram in Google Docs. Now for the assignment, I don't really care how you do this. If you want to get a piece of paper out and sketch the site diagram, I'm totally fine with that. You could use your phone to take a picture of it and then you could put it in your Google Doc. Um, yeah, I'm not really looking at how professional the drawing is. So don't panic if you're looking at the assignment, this assignment and you're thinking to yourself, I cannot draw, I'm screwed. You are not. I just need to be able to tell what the structure is. So I'm not looking at things like, you know, how square the squares you draw are or how legible the type is. If I can read it, then we're good. But for those of you who are sort of not sure how you're going to do the structure, I wanted to give some suggestions. My first suggestion, of course, would be just get out a piece of paper and start drawing bubbles with a pen or pencil and filling them in. My second suggestion would be to come into Google Docs and use some of the tools in here. So first I'm going to show you how, I mean, you, you can just type it out, so I'll just show you that, and then I'm going to show you how you can draw in Google Docs. So as the example, I'm going to use this site, neo.com. You see they have this nice navigation bar here from which we're going to understand the structure of the site. So first we have who we are, what we do, blog and news, resources, jobs, and contact. So if I'm just going to type this out, I'm going to start with home, and then I'm going to come in and make some bullet points. And underneath home, we have who we are and what we do. So who we are, what we do, and then what do we have here? Blog and news. I'm not going to do all of this for the sake of time. I just want to get enough in here so you can see how it works. And we have resources. Okay, so that's the first what we call level of navigation in our structure. So let's look at who we are. Do we have any drop downs or additional information for who we are? We do. So who we are has a list of all the people, but you'll see at the top you can sort them by where they are located. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. So who we are, you can see it's staff list sorted by, uh, let's see, we have headquarters, San Francisco, then New York City, and again, I'm not going to do all of these, but you get the idea. So how about what we do? So I'll click on what we do, and I'm going to ask myself, you know, does that have different sections? Um, not really. They have links that go to the portfolio, um, or that go to case studies, and then they have like a list of what we do. So I'm going to put they do and case studies with links. Okay. Um, how about what's next? Blog and news. And there you'll see it's a blog. So they've got all news code and lean is how you can sort these things. So I'm going to put. Um, I can click there. Categories all news, code, and lean. So you get the idea. You can just type this out. You really don't even have to be able to draw. Now I also could draw if I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in Google Docs and I'm going to go to insert drawing and a little box will pop up that allows me to draw. So if I want to draw a site structure map rather than type it out or sketch it on paper, I can come in here and there's these tools where I can make shapes and arrows. So I can make a shape and then I can click in that and I can put home and I can change the color if I want to but I don't feel like I need to. I'm going to make another shape. Um, let's make another rectangle. So who we are. And then I can use these shapes, these arrows if I want. They're kind of tough to use, these shape arrows. What I would do for arrows is click online and you'll see there's an arrow here. So home goes to who we are. So I can draw in here, and when I'm done, I click save and close, and it'll insert it into my doc. So these are just a couple different options for using Google Docs to make these site structure maps. I would say use what you're comfortable with. If you prefer, if you're a really visual person and you prefer to see these boxes, maybe just sketch it out or use this drawing tool in Google Docs. If you're not 
that heavily visual and it makes sense to you to just type it out in a list like this, then go ahead and just type it out in a list. I'm totally okay with that. My goal for this assignment is not really that you become an expert at drawing. It's that you are able to understand the differences between how different kinds of sites are organized. So do what's comfortable, do what uh, minimizes the time commitment of drawing or typing out for you and that will be okay.